all right everybody welcome to your fourth PHP tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called variables in PHP now variables are an important part of not only PHP but any programming language you do so I hope if you have done a programming language before then you know what variables are but if you don't then here you go variables are container holders for information in your code the data in your code so variables are actually used to store and use that information later on inside your code so for example if you receive an input from the user on the web page and you want to process it somehow you want to send it as an email to yourself then how would you do that then we make use of something called variables well that was a very sluggish type of example but anyways let's get started now to create a variable in PHP what we use is a dollar sign now a dollar sign would make your server realize that yep you are working with a variable now and write the name of your variable and make sure that you don't start your variable um, obviously you don't start your variable uh, you do start your variable after dollar sign but after dollar sign you don't start it with any special character like plus or dash or any number because that's not allowed however underscore is allowed but in most cases you don't need that so create a variable and type equal to now equal to is an assignment operator and it would assign this variable the value whichever we are which whatever we are writing writing here so let's say I write hello Fox here and the semicolon means that the statement has ended so your server knows now that one statement has actually ended now this variable actually now holds the value hello fox so how do I make use of this variable now from the previous tutorial we know that we could make use of something called echo now echo would output anything we supply as text but this works with variables as well so echo and writing your variable name would actually echo out this variable so if you write this equal to this and echo your variable then what would happen is when you would reload your page then you'll get hello fox as output now what if I wanted this thing to output to do that I'll just put this in single quotes and why not in double quotes we'll be learning shortly so that's it for this tutorial and we would be working more on, more on variables in my next tutorial so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe